Stitch Kitties, it's Brittany with Stitches of Love Quilting, and in this tutorial, we're going to use our embroidery machine to make block two of our Christmas Lane block of the month. So, of course, you have your pattern or your fabric that comes in your kit. Go on, give it a little bit of starch and press it so it's ready to go. Then you're going to open your pattern, read through your instructions, download your file, put it on your embroidery machine, and then what I like to do is read through my pattern use my placement guide and you can see on the left i've organized my pieces by the step so you can see on steps 9 11 and 13 those are the numerical order steps that i follow to get the pieces in order so i'm ready to go and then if you look at your steps 14 through 19 you'll have all your thread colors and i've laid them out over here on the side ready to go so without further ado, let's load that white thread on our machine and start with our very first step. So that first step that stitches on your embroidery file are two straight lines at the top and bottom of your hoop. I'm gonna turn my hoop sideways so it fits on top of my steady Betty. And I'm gonna take my fabric and simply put it where it is covering that stitched line and then centered in my hoop so I'm able to trim. And this will be trimmed down so you have way more fabric than you need. See how much fabric is hanging off both ends, more than an, about an inch or so. So I am going to tape this in place. I'm using 3M transport tape. It's basically medical tape and it's available from a big box store or a place like Amazon. I like using this, but you can use any kind of tape that you prefer. And now we're gonna keep that white thread on our machine. I'm gonna put this back on. The machine is gonna stitch that top and bottom line again, which will ultimately be a trim guideline for you at the end. And it's gonna give us our first round of applique outlines. Okay, so now we have our first round of applique outlines. You'll be able to see it clearly in your hoop at home. I know it's a little hard to see my white thread on this predominantly white background fabric. So what we're gonna do is turn our hoop onto our steady buddy and we're gonna go in numerical order. So right now we're on step nine in your pattern and we're gonna start by ironing our pieces in order in the center of our little piece. So first up piece one, and I've peeled the backing off of our applique pieces. Remember, they're all pre-fused with heat and bond light for you. So, and they're laser cut. So when you open your kit, you are ready to go, which is awesome, right? The thought of having to cut out pieces just ugh, seems so not fun to me. <laughs> I love having them laser cut. All right, so now we're putting our next piece. And all you do is center within those stitched lines. So easy. Now we're putting on our first big ornament. And this, so this print kind of has like a direction. You can like kind of decide how you want to put that direction if you want. I say just kind of go random. We're going to see how it goes. This is a perfect circle. So that's how you're able to do that. Now we're gonna move over to the right side. We're doing pieces nine through 11 over here. And so we're gonna put piece nine down first. There we go. And this is an orange blossom print. So you'll have little white blossoms periodically throughout that. It just depends how the fabric lays when it's cut. That's fun about a print like that, I think. It's all a little random. Now our next piece, and if you want, you can see I have, oh gosh, I actually have two beside me right now. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but I have this little Alex Anderson. If you ever need to use this to put your piece in place, if the fabric starts getting hot from your iron, simply use that. Or when you're working with really little pieces, I find that helpful. There we go. Now we're gonna go over here to the left one, which on the screen is the bottom one. And these are pieces 15 through 17. And you can see, again, I'm pulling from my little piles on the side. Again, I have those all in numerical order. So I read through my pattern, put my pieces in order, and then I don't have to think about it again. So maybe if you're gathering with friends while you're doing this, and you're gonna be chatting. If you have it all organized first, you don't have to worry about making a mistake or for me, I'm sitting here chatting with you <laughs> once I'm talking, you know, I gotta talk and sometimes I don't pay attention to what I'm doing. So if I have it organized, I don't have to worry, which I love. 
All right, so now we're gonna keep that white thread on our machine. This is what your hoop should look like right now. So we have the start of our pieces. So keep that white thread on and we're gonna get our second round of applique outlines. Okay, so now we have our next round of applique outlines in front of us. So again, turn your hoop where it's on your steady Betty or your ironing surface in front of your embroidery machine. And we're gonna start in the center, we're on step 11. So we're gonna iron pieces five through seven, then 12 and then 18. So these are very easy to put in place. The edges line up perfectly with the edge of your ornament. So very easy to put in place. Then our next piece right here. And with the long piece, you might wanna hold it like, you know, at the beginning and in the center to keep it in place as you iron. Then our last piece of this ornament. There we go. Now we have this big yellow ornament. So you'll line this straight bottom edge up with the bottom edge of your placement line. And then the circle will line up nicely. So get that straight first and then come right up. Perfect. So see, I have my line straight right here and then my circle is lined up perfectly around my ornament. So you don't have a stitched line all the way out here and that's because I wanted to make sure I accommodated all of your hoops. And that's gonna be in the seam allowance anyway so it doesn't need stitched. I am gonna go on and pull my tape off. So I made myself nervous getting really close to that and I don't wanna accidentally iron my tape and melt anything. So you can take that off. Essentially, you can always take your tape off after the second step. And now our last little piece to put on. And again, you can decide how you want these little X's to be. I kind of want to do them, um, I think, this way, straight up. How do you think? You can do it really any way you want. <laughs> it's a perfect circle again. So make sure you're lined up everywhere. And give it a press. So we're gonna keep our white thread on again. And of course, when we put this back on, your machine is gonna give you your last round of applique outlines, which are the fun little accents on all three of your ornaments. All right, so now we have our last round of applique outlines. So what we're gonna do is iron those on. So I'm gonna start in the center. We are on step 13, so we're ironing the final round of pieces on. You'll notice for the white three accents, you have two of each one. That's because we're gonna double line so that it's a more of a pure white showing and you don't have quite as much showing through of say the dots and the stripes underneath this. So see how it looks with one piece? Put a second piece right over and it definitely aids and making that more of a crisp white, right? So now we will jump over to our cute little chevron zigzag piece. And so I'm gonna make sure I get it lined up. Looking good. There we go. And give it a press. Beautiful. And the edge lines up perfect right over here and on the edge right there. Now we have, again, two little white pieces to put in, and it doesn't matter which white piece you put down first, they're exactly the same. So put one in place, and then your second one right over it. And again, this is where if you have your little Alex Anderson tool or a little stiletto, if you wanna use it to hold it in place so you don't burn your finger, definitely do so. And now we're gonna do all of our dots and the little accent over here. So let's get our accent down. And when it comes to these dots and this accent, none of them overlap, so it doesn't matter which one you iron on first. And whoop, this little guy, so cute. Now the, all of them are the same circle, except these two little outer ones, you have two little half circles. This one over here is a little bit smaller. And so you'll get it right in place. There we go. And then this one is a little bit larger of the half circle. 
And then the rest of them are the same. There we go. So for these, let's just put these in place. And I'm gonna put them all in place and iron them all at one time. There we go. And if you wanna be like particular about the direction these little flowers are facing, you certainly can. I am being completely random because it'll look cute no matter what. This is all such cute fabrics. All of these are, the prints are Lori Holt prints from her basics, her B basics, and they're just adorable. All right, so now you have your entire applique built out in your hoop. So from here on out, all you're gonna do is change thread colors and the machine is gonna do all the beautiful stitching for you. So we're gonna leave that white thread on for one more step. And the first thing that your machine will buttonhole stitch are gonna be these three accents on your little ornaments. All right, take a look at those great buttonhole stitches on each of your white pieces. They look beautiful. So now we're going to do a color change to our 1039 True Red, and the machine is going to stitch all of your red pieces for you on your ornaments. All right, take a look at how good all of your red stitching looks. I love it. So now you're going to change your thread to the silver gray, and the machine will stitch the three tops of your ornaments. Okay, take a look at the top of your ornament stitched beautifully in that silver gray. Next, you are going to change to your pumpkin pie 1833 and the machine will stitch the little hanging piece and the chevron stripe on your ornament right here. Take a look, your orange is now stitched, looks beautiful. So now we're going to change to the 0567 butterfly gold and your machine will buttonhole stitch around the outer part of your yellow ornament. All right, your yellow ornament is all stitched and now it is time for our final color change to the 1095 turquoise and you guessed it, the two remaining turquoise pieces will now be stitched. Yay, you are all done. So let's look from top to bottom at all of our beautiful stitching. Thank you to our embroidery machine. So now you're ready to trim your block. You'll take it out of the hoop, remove your stabilizer. This top and bottom line that your embroidery machine stitched lines up with your placement guide right here at the top and bottom as a trim guideline. Then it'll be very easy to do your right hand trimming line because it'll go right up to the edge of your applique piece. And then you'll measure out the eight inches to do the trim on the left, which just happens to go right up to the edge of your turquoise ornament. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed making block two of Christmas Lane. And thank you so much for being a member of this block of the month. Happy stitching.